Okay, so I'm going to do a really quick recording here with the um, standard layout for the reviews that we're doing for binders on here. Um, in the sidebar, which I think is on that side, maybe it's on this side, um, you need your measurements. Um, since most guys don't wear bras, obviously, go ahead and do your rib cage underneath the bust area and then right across the wise point so that other people who are looking at that binder can get it idea for how it's going to fit them compared to your size. <clears throat> Either in the video or in the side or in both, you should have the model number of the buyer, the brand, how much it costs, and what size you're wearing because these are all important factors. Um, you need to show the binder with a shirt on. If you're wearing an undershirt, you need to explain that you're wearing an undershirt also. And then if you can, if you're willing to, shows the binder without a shirt over the top of it so people have an idea for how it actually fits and what it looks like. Um, also do details for how you put it on and how you adjust it because I actually have a couple of binders that I would have thought never fit me if I hadn't learned how to adjust them properly to like hold everything in. So if you do anything special when you put it on to adjust it or how you move stuff around to get a better looking figure, talk about that stuff. Um, Give a little bit of information about how it fits your body type. If it fits your body size and shape really well, go ahead and talk about that. If it doesn't, give us an idea for how you think, what kind of person you think you would fit on better. Like, if I have a binder that's too small across the front, I might recommend it for somebody who has a smaller chest than I do. Um, a little bit of information about how it holds up to various activities, like if you play sports in it, if it's uncomfortable driving a car, um, if you row in it, if you can climb trees in it, if you can't sit down or breathe in it, those are all important details. Um, give us an idea for what kind of clothing it fits well under. Some binders look really good under t-shirts, some binders really pass well under polo shirts. Again, important details. Um, <clears throat> if you own other binders of a similar style, like if you own other short-cut Velcro-sided binders, give us an idea as to how they compare, if you want to. Not terribly important, but useful. Um, if you've modified it in any way to make it more comfortable or functional, if you have to layer it with other binders, if you've cut darts out of the armpits or out of the waist to keep it from rolling up, those are all things that might help out other trans guys or tomboys, whoever the fuck wants to wear a binder. Um, give us your opinion on whether or not it was worth the price you paid for it. And if the shipping was fast, and if you had to deal with customer service for resizing or returns or talking to them, if they were pleasant to work with. Because how good of a company they are and how well they treat their customers is just as important as how well the binder fits. Um, last of all, if you're not 100% happy with the binder, give us an idea as to how you may think it could be improved. Like if it needs to be cut wider across the chest, if it should be longer, it should be a little shorter, if they're, like if you could redesign this binder, what would you do to make it better?